Today, my dearest Kira, today is the day we've been eagerly awaiting. Today we start our journey as husband and wife. Where do I begin? I have so much to say, but sometimes I struggle to tell you exactly how I feel. It is hard to describe how you make me feel, but I truly know you love me, and for that I am thankful. Today is the day our forever begins. I am so ready to embark on this incredible journey with you. With all my love, Adam. I'm ready for our next adventure, the married life, or shall I say, our married life. We have a lifetime of love to give and receive. I'll see you down the aisle. It's been a, an honour to see everyone. Some of the friends I haven't seen in a long time and some people that have come from a very far distance. Anyone that has travelled to this wedding has put a lot of effort into it. I'll be honest with you, our hearts go out to you because I travelled up here and got lost myself. Today is a special day for my wife and I, my beautiful wife. And that dress is not shabby. We stand here in front of you as a newlywed couple. And I cannot express the joy that I feel in my heart. So Adam invites Cassie, my beautiful wife, and I to join him and a couple of out-of-town co-workers for a steak dinner in New York City, where we met this bright-eyed, vibrant, chatty Irish gal. Uh, I could not help but notice some spark between these two. Fortunately for all of us, Kira started to show up stateside every now and then, and that spark we noticed not so long before began to grow into something of a flame. I asked both Kira and Adam to recount how they came to be, in, to be together. Adam had noted their friendship and how he admired her sense of adventure and her warmth. Kira said she saw him for the first time and thought he liked to party. <laughs> You were my friend to begin with, a friendship I grew to adore and cherish. But today I get to call you my husband. My commitment to you is loving you for a lifetime, to be there for you, and as we know, to always make you laugh. Because I'm definitely on that. <laughs> with you by my side, I know that we will create a loving and supportive home for laughter and joy and togetherness will flourish, because you're the funny one. <laughs> I promise to be there for you, to lend a listening ear, a comforting embrace, and a helpful hand whenever you need it, and sometimes a kick up the arse. <laughs> At any rate, it seemed things were moving along nicely with the courting duo, and soon enough, it finally became official, just in time for a pandemic. Well, we sure thought that would make things difficult, but Adam certainly is no slouch when it comes to being resourceful and managed to sneak into Ireland in just the nick of time. Finally, to my beautiful wife, I want to say that I love you more than words can express. You have brought so much joy into my life, and I am grateful for every moment that we share. I promise to love you, cherish you, and support you through thick and thin. So ready? Oh, no! My wedding day wish for you, Adam and Kira, is that your love continues to grow just as it already has, and just as the two of you have grown by way of each other. And I couldn't be happier that you'll be spending your life with someone so perfect for you as Kira. And Kira, I can't begin to express how happy I am that you found your way into Adam's life. Now if you'd all raise your glass for a toast to the happy couple, Sláinte, Adam and Kira. I will leave you both with this old Irish saying, which is, as you slide down the banister of life, um, I hope none of the splinters face the wrong way. <laughs> uh, to Kira and Adam. <laughs> <laughs>